Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last few episodes, we started learning about HTTP services in Angular. We learned about HTTP client module. We explored and learned all the use cases for HTTP get, post, put, and today we are going to learn about HTTP delete. Whenever we try to delete an uh, existing resource, we'll use the HTTP delete method. A word of caution, if you see most applications that we develop, we will rarely delete the entire resource. Most of the times we will just use a key and mark the record as inactive. That is called as a soft delete. But having said that, there are use cases where you want to actually delete the data. That's where HTTP delete method comes into picture. This is part 77 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned more than 100 tutorials for you in this series. Right now we are on 77th episode. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Following are the topics I have covered already in this series from ground zero from scratch to advanced use cases covering all aspects of Angular so that it will help you to learn master Angular. If you have any doubts on any of the topics I've covered so far in the series, please reach out to me in the comment section. I will try and help you as much as I can. A quick word on HTTP client for our friends who are joining us new. HTTP client is used to perform the HTTP request and responses. The HTTP client service is available under the package angular slash common slash HTTP. To work with HTTP client, we need to import a module called HTTP client module. Mostly we will import it into app module. HTTP client provides us with other useful functionalities like headers, params, interceptors, response type, etc. We will learn all about that in today's episode along with HTTP delete method. So what are we going to learn? We are going to do certain use cases with delete. We will use simple HTTP delete call we will use delete method with headers. We will use the delete method with params. We will learn HTTP delete method with typecasting. And finally, we will see how to subscribe and catch the error when you're calling the endpoint using HTTP delete. Let's get started with hands-on. So if you're following along, we are working with the customers module. We learned about adding customer, editing customer, getting the uh, customer's information, Right, using the get call. Today, I'll create a new component, ng generate component, and I'm going to say delete customer. So the, we will use this particular component to implement the delete functionality. So we got the delete customer component here. The first thing we'll do is we'll work on our service. So which is the user service dot ts. That's what we are working on. So we'll create a new method here, and we will call it delete user. Now this method will have the functionality where we will call the endpoint to delete. So delete is similar to any other HTTP method we have seen so far. HTT so I'm using the instance of HTTP client, which is in constructor HTTP, this dot HTTP dot delete, and it would take a URL. So see here that it the only mandatory thing is the URL. Okay. And in the options, we can pass our headers, params, response type, etc. All right. So what I'm going to do, uh, like in a previous episode uh, examples, we are using a fake API endpoint called JSON placeholder. That's the one that we are using for the fake APIs to get our data. We will use one of it and say, let's say this URL for to do's or users, anything. So they have multiple users that uh, resources that we can make use of. So let's say we are using delete user. So I'll make it user slash one. So now when we call this, it doesn't require any other information. Most endpoints will not require anything else. They need headers. We'll set that in just a while. So we are going to return this. It is going to return as an observable. So the only mandatory thing for delete is the URL, the endpoint. Now, which resource it is going to delete is this number one. It will delete the users with the ID one. Let's say you want to make it dynamic. You can always get it from the user here and then append it here. Right. 
and say slash plus ID. So that way this becomes dynamic URL, right? For now you can use static also, for example. So we got it here or let me do one thing. Let me make it dynamic, okay? So we are going to return this URL and it is going to return an observable, right? Its return type is observable object by default. By default, all HTTP calls will return you observable of type object, right? That's the default of Angular. I'll show you in just a bit how we can customize this and use typecasting. All right, so we are calling this method and passing a dynamic ID. Let's use this in our component that we just generated. So delete customer component. In this first thing we'll need to do is import the service. And the way I do, I would like to prefer is shortcut. That is you say user service and user service. It will automatically import it here. See in the line number two, it imported. So, so this is a shortcut and I'm going to call a method and I'll say delete user and we'll pass a ID. Right. So let's say we are or for now. OK, and we will say this dot user service dot delete. Service now when you say user service dot user val. So I think it's imported the wrong one from you know, this is correct user service. And what we are going to do did we not save that file? Let's check it one time. I don't think we saved that file. User service. So it is delete user. Let's take this. Go to our customer. And then this dot user service dot delete user. It's not importing, so let me check if it's using the correct one and we will import it through the path. Services slash user service, and that's the instance of the user service. Now we should see it as autocomplete. Yeah, there you go. So it was not referencing to the correct one. Here I'm saying delete the, the dynamic value that I'm passing is one here, but usually it will be on click and you'll get, you'll pass that value. And it is returning an observable. So we need to subscribe. We'll get the data from the call and we can do a console log and see what data we get. Say user deleted successfully. Else we need to catch the error. So let's put that error call back as well. And here we will say unable to delete the user. So take a look at this. Now you can put data and you can throw the error as well. Right. So in the delete customer, I'm calling, I'm creating a method calling the user service in that I'm calling the method. If you see this method, it is returning an observable of object type. It is taking an ID. So I'm passing ID as one and subscribing to the observable. I'll get the data. I'm just console logging for now. Now to, in order to make this work, I'm going to throw in a route. I know that it's static for now, but what you can do is you can do something like this and you can put an ID and say, you can parameterize it basically. Delete component and you can capture that in the routes, but I'm keeping it simple just for your explanation. So we'll create a route. It will go to delete, delete user, delete customer component. Okay. That's the one that we are going to delete when we come to the route. Now let's go to our application and instead of this, we are going to delete. So it says delete customer works. Now see in the network. Okay. So it has not made a call. Let's see why. Now let's go to delete customer. In this, we are going to go to the delete customers, HTTP delete. Now we have to see the ID, whether it is taking correctly or not. We are passing one. It would be delete slash one. All right. So let's see if there is something going wrong. All right. So it has not made a call. So let's debug. And how do you debug? Let's go to sources, 
open the delete customer component and come down here and let's also open user service user service okay looks like there are two user service and that's the problem but that's okay uh, let's go here I put some bookmarks so checkpoints so we'll know the breakpoints where it has reached okay so it's not entering to the delete user that means maybe the referencing is wrong in the user service let's check that one more time it's the naming that's causing our problem but let me fix it delete customer component and delete user okay the reason is we have not called it that's why it is not calling so my bad let's throw in a button let's give it a click event let's say delete 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 user okay so now on click of this this method will be called beautiful we don't need debug or let's leave it for now I click on now it comes that ID is equal to one so this is good let's do next it comes to delete user and data is empty that's because this is a fake endpoint if you see here this is a fake endpoint but it is giving us 200 okay that means it is deleting okay so uh, this particular fake endpoint doesn't return you the when you delete okay so you see here important resource will never be really updated as it is a faked right so we know that through the HTTP status call that we are sending the correct endpoint and we are getting status as 200 okay that was about calling the delete endpoint now you can throw in the headers that you want you don't want uh, unauthorized users to delete delete headers is equal to new HTTP headers and you'll want to users to pass you know um, the login information etc before they delete so you might want to capture that you can say authentication token right and then you can pass the value and say user one two three you can set that expiry token etc say 15 right so 15 here stands for 15 minutes so you can use this header information and pass it because it's optional so you'll put it in curly braces the name is headers you'll pass the delete headers so now you see you are setting the headers and sending that along with this delete request so when you click again now if you open the network tab and click on this delete I'm going to remove the breakpoints so we can see that in the request headers we have the authentication token we have the expiration token right so that's how you set the headers now same way we can set param parameters if you want to send so you'll say new HTTP params right and you will say dot set and here you'll set the value if you want to set and say uh, user role let's say standard or say admin right and you can pass these params also along with the HTTP request which is the delete method here you'll put comma and the name is params you'll send the params right now let's go back and go back to our console and click on delete user and you would see that now it is having the params which is user role equal to admin and you will see authentication token expiration token all of this data is there right as part of the query string now this is how you send data via HTTP delete method now I told you by default all observable uh, the HTTP methods are observable object now we created the interface user earlier when we were doing HTTP get and post we'll use the same and say if you want to send an object and you want to delete a certain type you can use that also now this is this is the way you are putting a typecasting now you are saying this is a data type user right 
so that is how we are we have declared an interface or a model that you want to use and that way you can do strict data typing now just take a look at the delete customer code here we are doing a subscribe we are getting the data we are also doing error handling of catching if something goes wrong right for example let me show you what goes wrong let's say I put the wrong URL now see what happens I click here in the console I would see the error you see here unable to delete the user so that is the message that is coming from this error statement which is delete customer unable to delete the customer the user right so that's the error handling part if there is something wrong it would do the error handling for us all of these together makes the crud operations right so what is crud operations create which is nothing but your post method when you say read this is nothing but your get method when you say update it makes it put method and finally when you say delete it makes it delete method right so we have seen all those methods now and I want you to go ahead try give it a try use all of this whatever I've shown you and in the next episode I'm going to cover HTTP interceptors a lot of details that you want to send in your HTTP request like headers etc those should be set once similarly error handling that you should not do independently for with each request so those things we can handle it directly in HTTP interceptors which are very very useful concept we'll learn all about it in the next episode if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode we will learn about HTTP interceptors thank you again